All right. Shalom. Kahalo. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem. Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom and salute to the hopefully let. Um, and through the spirit, I was um, dwelling on this uh, conversation we had with this um, young lady at camp a couple few days back on Saturday, and um, she wasn't the brother. First of all, the brother, the fellow brother, you know, Taz Warrior, he did a good job at, uh, because she came over, she had, she was like more like a, one of those feminine, feminist Eves, you know? She wasn't disrespectful and she was, you know, quite, um, we dealt with her, you know, we gave her, you know, um, answer the questions and everything. I'm not going to play the video because, hold on. It's, it's a long, we, hey, we out there for like four hours, you know. So um, we went into a lot of things, but the brother tried his best to, um, the brother did a good job breaking, breaking down, explaining to her. But Eve, it's not meant for these Eves to get it, you know. And the only reason we dealt with it is because you know, and it was another young lady that came. Hey, we get all types of people to come up. We get multiple people come up because we're at the uh, chief place of con. con um, well, <laughs> so like, we're at, we're downtown Baltimore, put it like that. So we're gonna have a lot of you know. We're at the main uh, what what they would call the inner harbor, you know. So we get all types of people from all walks of life coming down there and um yeah so the eve i'm um, going back on the um the eve she had this feminist mindset and that's what's going to get a lot of um uh, you know you you women destroyed because you're now in on a worldly sense you could say uh she was you know according to worldly standards see we don't go by worldly standards you see, we go by the, the scriptures to, uh, wholeheartedly, the scriptures, and we uh, try to follow the scriptures to our, the best of our ability. And in the kingdom, you know, under the uh, the uh, the order and authority of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, all this feminist stuff is going to be out the door. Hey, before the kingdom, soon as nine one one go out of order, all this feminist ideology is going out the door. You know, and that's the, the mindset that this young lady had. And uh, the brother, he was patient with her. You know, he did his best, you know. But uh, after a while, you know, we got to dismiss Eve because it's like we gave a chance, but they're not going to get it, get it. So at, at a point, we just got to let her, let them know, because first of first off, they're not even supposed to be talking you know uh, in the church you know but since we at uh normally when we get women to come up we find out whether they um are they married or do they have a mate or whatever because really it's your husband supposed to be teaching you you know and i'm gonna get that in the scriptures in a minute uh without uh i'm gonna get the scripts because i gotta um some i'm gonna go to the scriptures to back up what i'm saying but um yeah, so um, in the worldly standards, you might look at, and um, for you brothers that's looking at the video, you can go back to the channel and, you know, watch the uh, the whole thing. Um, I believe it starts at around the one, uh, 150 mark. So you can go back and, um, you know, see the whole, the whole conversation. But um, we had to, uh, we had to just tell, tell us straight, like, look, you, you, you know, all this feminist stuff, she couldn't get, she couldn't get that, um, the, uh, the man carried a seed and it's simple. If you didn't learn, uh, if they teach this in school, when you're in sexual, sexual ed, it's supposed to be education, but sex ed class, when a man lies with a woman, 
or your parents teach you. This should be common sense. When a man lies with a woman, what comes out that man to get a woman pregnant? And I asked her that. And at Eve, instead of asking, and an elder, Elder Karaksaba, he, he was trying to be patient with it as well. You know, he asked her, um, she asked a question. She came with the queen of heaven spirit. She wasn't disrespectful, but we had to bring it to her. Like, look, it is what it is. You, you're not, you know, you coming up here with these, uh, feminist ideologies and, and we don't, we ain't having it up there, you know, but, um, the brother, uh, broke it down. It's simple and plain to it. And it's, Hey, well, you know what? Without further ado, I'm going to get the scriptures because um, let's go into that. Um, the order. Let's go into the order. All right. I went to the blue letter. And uh, I'm going to start at 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And um, I'll start at 1. It says, Be ye followers of me, even as as I also am of Hamashiach. Um, now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. So ordinances is, is uh, goes to the word order. Um, it says, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahawashah, Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man. It says, and the head of uh, Hamashiach is Yahawah, Yahawah. So it's an order that uh that that is being um that is uh that the heavenly father gave us and uh these women think that they could just skip over the order you know and it's in the law that um a woman okay here it is um it says verse um verse four it says every man praying or prophesied and having his head covered dishonor of his head it says, but every woman that prayeth or prophesy with her head uncovered, dishonor her head, for it is even all one as if she were shaven. And and I give her credit because I remember this. We brought, we bring the scripture out, the elder elder Karasabar bring the scripture out, and uh, she know she first of all she was you know she didn't know so when she came up she was speaking and asking questions and things. But we bring this scripture out and she actually covered her head. <laughs> so she was getting it, you know. So I say she was she was somewhat, you know, humble, you know. Hey, the women ain't gonna get it. The women is is for them to serve their man, you know. The woman ain't gonna get it like how we understand the truth, you know. Their their lot is to serve the man, you know. So she did, I give her that. She did cover her head. It's in a video. You know, if I can find it. It's but well, I'll camp um videos are so long. Lord willing I do another video on it. I'll, you know, grab it up. But she did um cover cover her head. So when women come up to the camps, they they supposed to be quiet and they and their head supposed to be covered, you know? And it's and there's many um it's, it's many laws that that we don't even really you know follow in this in this system of things you know first of all because we're under Esau's authority we under Esau's rule so we can't do too much you know you don't want to wear your garments everywhere just like um for instance I was uh I was searching the internet and I saw some Jake he put uh he put he put uh, fringes on his car. You know, he put fringes on his car. Jake is bugging out. So, um, let's read another one. It says, um, um, verse eight, it says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. See? So it's an order, you know? But these women I have you think that you're 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 created for her and we suppose that all these simps out here, you know, they're they oh I'm serving my woman, you know. I remember this one this chick, I don't know whether she was getting fresh with me or not. But if, if by by you being in the truth for a while, 
you start to see things. And uh, the, the, every time I would come in the store, the, the chick would speak and all that. But one time she asked me, this she asked me to get her something to drink. And I kind and I and by me, I'm, I'm looking at her like, why would I, you know, it's it was almost kind of out in the world. It might have looked at, you know, oh, the chick asking for something to drink. So get her something to drink, you know, Jay. You know. But I kind of oh, I kind of looked at her like that. I'm certain if I bring her something to drink, I'm serving this bitch. You know, I'm serving her. She should be getting me. First of all, she worked at the store. You know, these these simps, you know, they they. Uh, the queen of heaven worship, you know. Oh, get the woman to drink. No, nah. in ancient times, you wouldn't have. It happens sometimes, you know. If you want to get your woman to drink, ain't nothing wrong with that, you know. And I'm, I'm not making it a big deal because if I, you know, I, if I would have got a, a drink, it probably wouldn't have been a big deal. But the way I looked at it, I was like, why is she asking me? Shouldn't she be bringing me something to drink? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, in this world, everything is backwards, you know? Like, these women really think that we're supposed to be serving them, you know? And and, and, and and that's going off, you know? A woman shouldn't be going all through your phone and all that. Oh, you, 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 you can check her phone, you know? But she shouldn't assert authority over you, you know? So this what this world is, is is backwards, and that's that's the thing we was trying to tell a young lady, but she was getting it, you know. But I, evidently she walked down the street, you know, because she was she was like like I was saying in the video, she was um her mind was just gone. It was just all she was just uh, one of those uh she probably go to Esau school, probably in college or something more, got a job working for Esau. And she sounded, well, matter of fact, let me play a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit of the, I'm going to play a little bit of it. I said, I, it's, it's, but our cat videos are long, but I might could catch, let's go ahead and play a little bit of it. I got another, to be put to death. I got another scripture. Uh, but now we have grace and mercy because a lot of us don't know the law. I got a scripture. Uh, it is equal 9 and 4. That's oh, I have Deuteronomy 21. But you have some people that are, that are definitely scoffers, that are gamers that come up against this word, you know, and, and do the, the, the knowledge of who the supreme God is, you know, saying his real name, but we don't just utter his name. Just... And the brothers, that's our brother, brother Taz, a warrior, the brothers and a, uh, Elder, Elder Karasabha, they did an excellent job at, uh, you know, trying to, you know, pushing the word. I'm trying to find a part. Because she was just a, she was, she just was in feminism. You know, that's most of black women. And she sounded like she been around Edomites. You know. Show it to show you. Oh, that's all. The one that you're holding. The red yeah. Red all the place in the apocryphal. Uh, is that, the, the that whole, King James? Because I'm not sure I've seen it in the King James. Yeah, it's, it's in the King James, original King James. You know they took the apocrypha out of the King James. Right, that's been removed. Why did they remove them? Just like they removed the Old Testament for slavery. They removed that stuff for a reason. You got it? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. This is uh, this is uh, Second Kings, um, two and twenty-three. It says, and he went up thence unto Beth. Hold on. Yeah, but any old way, and. When the um the kingdom is is established, even before the kingdom established, you know women are gonna um well first of all the heavenly father when the kingdom get here the, the curses are gonna come off of um the so called black women so you know you're you the you ain't gonna you know all the ugliness about you is gonna go away you know. You're gonna you're gonna look good. You're not gonna be overweight. You're not. Hey, you're gonna wear dresses. You know, cause that's another thing. Another thing, feminist, the feminist ideology put that on women wearing pants. You know, so you know um, you're not gonna be overweight anymore. You're gonna be beautiful. You know, cause cause it's a curse on a lot of uh, so-called black women, especially the tribe of Judah. 
uh, Benjamin and Levi, and and a, a and the ten, the ten, the this, what's that? The northern tribes. It's curses all upon uh, the northern tribe women, you know. Although some of them, some of the northern tribe women might be, um, you know, some some of them might be beautiful, and some some of the curses might not be on as many northern tribe as it is on the southern tribe. The Lord really got the southern tribe because. That's the head tribe, you know, like they say, the big brother always get the, the, the harshest punishment, you know. But, um, yeah, the, the brothers did a good job of trying to deal with the, the young lady. And, um, you know, Eve just ain't ain't going to get it, you know, but Eve will get it when when it's feminine, when the society crashes, go down. That's when when they're going to fall into uh into line overnight, you know, all this ideology and this and women speaking and all that, that's going to go out the door. You know, I was listening to, um, a brother's video today and he went into that on how, um, you know, um, when a society flip over to digital currency and things like that. So I didn't want to make this video too long. I just was, uh, thinking about, about that one that, uh, this, at camp. You know, during a, um, you know, our weekly camp, how the uh, fem feminism has destroyed the these women really think that they, you know, we bought we when we was when she came up with that ideology, we kind of sort of like bring her back to earth because they they just gone the average one the average so called black woman they they living in a fantasy world like they really think that they're uh, equal to a man, you know. So I hope this video was edifying. Um, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakah Kadash. Till again, Shalom.